Well, hey there, campers. Bob here. You know, the really cool penguin. And I'm here with yet another podcast about my thoughts. Wait, you say, are you really going to spend a whole podcast talking about penguins seeing things in their vision? No, but that might be cool to talk for a little bit about how cool it'd be if there was this little penguin had night vision goggles. Then I could finally be able to decode the secret message on the back of my glow-in-the-dark spire decoder watch with karate chop action to find out what is written there. Yes, I know what you're thinking, but Bob, but wouldn't it be easier just to use the decoder watch to decode the message on the back of the watch? Yeah, it probably would, but it wouldn't be much as fun as using night vision goggles. Anyway, what I'm really going to discuss today is that in four days from the making of this podcast, we will finally be getting something from the MCU, the Marvel Cinematic Universe, after going a whole year of withdrawal. This Friday, coming up on Disney+, Plus, the show WandaVision will be debuting. And boy, what a ride I think this show will be. If you want to find out my thoughts on the new WandaVision show, stay tuned, campers. It's coming up next. You're listening to Penguin Thoughts. These are the thoughts that penguins are thinking when they were thinking that they were thinking about the thoughts they were thinking when they were thinking them. That is, we think. Okay, so I have several thoughts about the new show WandaVision that will be debuting on Friday. So let's dive in because this podcast may be a bit longer than my normal length podcast. So let's get to it. First off, I do need to say that anything I mention here is just simply my thoughts and research of things Marvel and are in no way what is going to actually happen. That said, if you're someone that have never read the Marvel comic books, more specifically the Avengers Disassembled or the House of M series, then this podcast could contain spoilers for you and those comics, so you've been warned. If you're curious about some of the information I have used to research for this podcast, I will leave links and details in the podcast description. Anyway, I'm going to break down my thoughts into two areas of discussion. What we know about the show and my observations, and the second is how this show might actually follow the comics, more specifically the comic series, The House of M. So here's what we know and what I have observed. I spent some time looking over the show's image posters and also trailers that have been released and they have revealed a little bit of the direction the show is going to go in. The overall gist of the show seems to be that of Wanda and Vision, two super-powered Avengers living out their ideal suburban lives in various realities until they slowly come to the realization that things aren't quite as they seem. From the posters and teasers I have looked at, they seem to hit at various different time areas, like living in realities through the decades as if they were switching channels between sitcoms that they were there, each in their own reality. The posters and trailers that have been revealed so far seem to be in some sort of like countdown, always seem to have a TV in the picture. The TV and the surroundings change depending on the decade era. Like for example, the first era seemed to be inspired by maybe I Love Lucy and that reality was set in what appeared to be the 1950s. The next reality, where the TV and the promo poster changed to a TV of a decade later to that of the 1960s. And it seems to have been inspired by maybe the Dick Van Dyke show. Also a side note, I think I read somewhere that Dick Van Dyke himself was called in to consult on this show, so that only makes sense. Next reality was the 1970s, and once again the TV changes, and the set in the trailer reminds me that of the Brady Bunch. It is also significant to note here that this is the first teaser that Wanda appears pregnant in, which is important if you have read the comics 
the House of M series. Next reality was the 1980s. And once again, the TV changes to look like it's from the 80s. And the set in the trailer reminds me of a sitcom, Family Ties. And now Wanda and Vision both are seen having their twin babies now. And the last reality tra trailer I saw was the 1990s. And this is the one where Wanda and Vision are dressed very much in their original 90s comic book outfits. Wanda having the purple outfit and headpiece and cape and Vision being dressed in his green and yellow outfit with a yellow cape. Also, in each of these posters, starting with the first, there seems to be a part of the wallpaper or paneling in the background missing and left with some purple white static like that you would find in between changing channels on an older style TV. This would seem to suggest that each decade of reality in this show is not really real, but more like that of something that Wanda is either consciously or subconsciously choosing to make her and Vision's life a perfect and ideal suburban lifestyle. Which just further emphasizes that they are not real, just Wanda's powers in play and maybe a tad out of control. So overall, based on what I have seen so far, I feel the show is going to be a constant mind trip road, jumping from one rally to another and maybe even giving each episode ending with some sort of cliffhanger for the next one. So now let me talk about the part of how this show may relate to the actual comic book series and how they may differ and how many may be alike and more specifically the comic book series of the House of M. So, this is the part of the podcast that may contain comic book spoilers about the series House of M, so turn back now if you plan to read it before the show. Anyway, so, as we have seen over the years in watching all the movies in the MCU, they don't always line up with what happened in the Marvel comics, which is kind of understandable due to it being more difficult to bring some things from a comic book to live action can be difficult even in this day of age of special effects and CGI. That being said, I still believe that there are a few things that could still happen in WandaVision's show that are in the House of M series. Kevin Feige has even said in an interview that this show is based off the House of M series, so it stands to reason. A few things are quite different in the comics as in the MCU, like who is alive and who is dead in the MCU versus the comics, and the events surrounding certain things. In the House of M, the series has both the Avengers and the X-Men in the events during the series. And if you did not know, Wanda is actually the daughter of Magneto. Side note, how cool would it be to see Magneto in the show? Anyway, in the House of M series, Wanda is losing her mind and grip on reality and was taken by Magneto to Genosha, which is a country off the coast of Africa that Magneto set up for mutants to live. And also with the help of Charles Xavier, Professor X, him and Magneto try to keep Wanda's powers in check. Xavier is not able to really contain her powers much anymore, so he leaves and meets with the X-Men and Avengers in New York to discuss what to do about Wanda. In the meantime, Pietro, Wanda's brother, aka Quicksilver, is still alive, not like he is in the MCU, and finds out about them all discussing they may have to kill Wanda to keep her powers from warping all of reality. Yeah, who knew? Her powers were really, really powerful. Anyway, Pietro loves his sister, and he suggests to Wanda, in her fragile state of mind, to give everyone they care about the happy ending they really want. Pietro is the reason for causing Wanda to change reality. It was his suggestion to her to keep her alive and to protect her. So, like for Magneto, that happy ending would be a world that the mutants are free and not hunted or hated. So Genosha becomes a real reality and actually is the reason for the name of the comic book series The House of M because Magneto makes his quote unquote kingdom so to speak there on Genosha 
In the House of M series, Hawkeye and Vision are also both dead. They were killed by Wanda in the Avengers Disassembled series, when she first started re really losing control of her powers and her mind as well. So Wanda brought Hawkeye, Hawkeye back from the dead, as well as Vision. So you get the idea, Wanda, off of Pietro's suggestion, gives everyone they care about their happy ending. Wanda's happy ending involved her being a mother of twins, which with her being married to Vision in the uh, Avengers Disassembled series, you can probably guess him being an android that she would not be able to have children of her own with him. And in this, she doesn't really. She doesn't really have them because the children don't really exist. She thought them up with her mind powers into existence. Well, in the end, you can imagine it did not go so well because of two people in that new reality could remember the old reality. One was Wolverine and the other was a girl named Layla Miller, a girl that was, had psychic abilities to see all realities. Well, you can kind of already kind of tell that the MCE version will not be completely like the comics. And I'm not going to go into detail all about the House of M series. I said, instead, I suggest you read it for yourself. However, I will say this. The MCU version of the House of M, which is what in essence will we see in this WandaVision show, will probably not be too close to how things actually ended in the House of M series. Just for me personally, though, I'm just hoping we might get to see Magneto, Professor X, or Wolverine show up in the show. How cool would that be? Anyway, that said, it should be definitely interesting who actually gives Wanda the suggestion, or if it is merely her losing a grip on her powers, her mind, and her reality. Guess we'll just have to watch to find out. So there you have it. Just a few of my thoughts on the new upcoming MCU show on Disney Plus called WandaVision. I for one cannot wait to see how it plays out and hope you tune in to watch it as well. So I'll leave you with these last thoughts about the show. And I think Doctor Strange sums it up best in the Avengers Disassembled comic book series when he explains about Wanda and her powers when he says this. And listen to me tell you the story of an orphaned mutant with a sordid violent past with power she did not earn nor can she control powers she never really fully understood can you understand this delicate mindset of a woman a person who has control over reality it means reality controls her imagination becomes the enemy structure disappears reality eventually as we as she knows it starts to slip away elude her blur drama conflict tragedy they become excuses to change the world to fit the image that she has for it anything she doesn't like in her life she can change no matter how slight people places things everything is hers to change but every time she does that every time she gives in to her desire no matter how noble they may be, a little more of her slips away. She loses herself, her reason. But she struggles quietly every day to keep it in check, to keep it all together. For a person of strong mind and body, for a person of pure spirit, the task of coping with these powers will be all-consuming. There you have it. I think Dr. Strange is right. We have already been slowly seeing Wanda losing control of her powers like she did at the beginning of Captain America Civil War. And I believe this whole show will be just that. Watching it play out all the realities created by Wanda as she slowly loses control of her mind and her powers. Anyway, I hope you decide to come back and listen to more of my podcast from yours truly 
penguin named what about Bob I also have a YouTube channel where I make rather silly videos as well as other social media sites which are all linked on my anchor podcast page and I'd be greatly honored if you would come and visit and even subscribe and as always I'm the crazy and silly penguin named what about Bob and I'm out the window because the door is shut or is it guess that depends upon our reality Later, peeps.